Hi all, this is the badging video for the felt sander in the wood shop at New Haven. So the felt sander is used to remove material relatively quickly. Uh, this is actually a combo tool, so it has a belt that spins here and a disc that spins here. Uh, both are powered by the same motor, they turn on and off at the same time. And the, the felt and the disc are just sort of different ways of approaching the material. You can use whichever one is more appropriate to the task that you're working on. Uh, we're just going to go over first the safety um, and then features and, and how we use it. In terms of safety, really the big one is just making sure that nothing gets pinched. So you don't want to get your fingers anywhere near like that, that little crevice in there or this crevice here. Um, and when you're, if you take this and put it at an angle, you just need to make sure nothing gets jammed or pinched in there because there's a lot of force that will shove things down in there. So you want to make sure things are well supported and pushed in flat so they don't have a chance of pinching. Uh, you never want to push something up like that because it will just get slammed down. So you can put things at an angle, but again, not an angle down there, an angle up here. And the same applies to the disc. That's really the, the, the safety things we need to know here. Um, then there are a bunch of adjustments. So we can adjust this rest here um, using levers. So we're just gonna loosen it, and then these can slide up and down. This has a stop that stops it right at 90 degrees. You can move that out of the way if you wanna do a negative angle. And then you just drop the stop right back in place, and it's locked. Same deal here, so it's this lever, and that lets it go up and down. There's a stop on the back side, and then we just lock it when it's in place. Uh, and then the last adjustment on here is this whole head can actually tilt backwards. And there's just a pin in the back, so you pull the pin, you get this little wiggle, and this pin comes out, and then this whole head can tilt backwards. Uh, and you're just supposed to loosen it first. And then when you're done, make sure to put the pin back in. Just takes a little wiggling and it's in there. That's nice, nice and firm. Um, all right, so now we're gonna look at how we put the paper, the belts and disc on here. They're available in the store for purchase. This is what the disc looks like. So it's an adhesive uh, disc of sandpaper. So the first step is actually to remove this plate down underneath here. that off and then we can slide this down here, peel off half of the adhesive, make sure we get it nice and centered and push it on there so it's nice and stuck. And we're going to turn it over. Keep pulling out the adhesive. Just like that. And stick it on there. And then just make sure to pat it on so it doesn't go anywhere. And then removing it, you just kind of peel it off like a big sticker. So not super fun or easy, but you know, that's that's how you, how you do it when, um, when you want to replace the paper. All right, so now that's stuck on there, and we will replace this on the bottom. You just need to make sure to uh, not lose this guy. And then there are, there are actually three holes, but we just have this one that goes in the bottom hole. Okay, so that is all set, and now we're going to do this one. So first, we have to take off a bunch of parts to replace the belt. So loosen those, take that top cap off, 
And then on the back, there are these four bolts, and they're retained, meaning they don't come all the way out, they're, they're captive. Um, so they don't just fall and get lost. You can exit all of them are like that. Here. All right. So they don't, they don't fall out, they stay in there, which is nice. And we're going to grab this belt. So with sandpaper, there are all different kinds of sandpaper, different grits. Conveniently, these are the same size as the ones that go in the belt grinder in the metal shop, which uh, is six inches wide by 48 inches in circumference. Um, and so it needs to be that size to fit on here. And then there are different grits. So on here, it says it's 80 grit. Um, 80 is like pretty good material removal. It goes down to you know, maybe as low as 36, maybe, maybe even lower, but I think we have 36. And then all the way up to super high numbers for polishing. So 80 is somewhere in the middle for, for moving material. Um, it'll leave a pretty rough surface. The higher the number, the smoother the surface, and the less wood it'll remove. And then the lower the number, the more wood it'll remove, and the, le the less smooth the finish. And it's important to move progressively through the sandpaper. So if you go from 80 to 400, it will still have big scratches in it from the 80. So another thing that it says on the inside of the belt, in addition to the grit, is there's these arrows, and they'll show you which direction it goes. So the belt spins downwards on the side that's facing us. So and there's a, there are arrows right here to show us. So we need to make sure to match the arrows to that. So we're going to slide this on. Slides right on there. So now that the belt is on, we adjust the tension to the tracking. So first the tension, that seems pretty good. We'll turn it on and then see how we, we need to adjust the tracking, the, the position side to side. So right now it's too far this way. back on. Start with the back one. And then we put the top one on. This just slides on. And, and these tighten down on the sides. Okay, so when you're using it, uh, we want to make sure that the vacuum is on. Here's just a piece of what I grabbed. Um, so we're going to turn it on, I'll turn the vacuum on, and we can show how to use it. Uh, what I'm going to be pointing out is keeping it on the surface when you want to do ends. If you want to you know, go an angle like that, or you can adjust the angle of the table. You can obviously do angles like this. Um, changing the angles on the tables, and that's about all there is to it. So uh, let's get started. Turn you on. Something else I'm going to show is how to use this 
silicone bar, um, which can just be used to clean up the sandpaper. get a lot of the dust, it's important to clean up the machine when you're done because the vacuum certainly doesn't get all of it. Um, and when the way that you know that the belt needs to be replaced is because it's not, it's not cutting anymore. You know, there's a little, little teeth on there, the little grains, and those are supposed to be cutting the wood. And if it's not cutting, then you can push harder and it's just going to burn and wear on the motor. So as soon as sandpaper isn't doing what you want anymore, you need to you need to replace it. There's no, it's not going to be fun to try to push sandpaper to, to do something you can't do. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.